when we start giving people legitimate government identification, that's going to lead to voter fraud. That's going to lead to welfare fraud. That's going to lead to all kinds of fraud. That's why I say it again. If you're in this country illegally, we can't normalize that. Former acting director of ICE, Tom Homan, responding here on Tuesday to new laws offering privileges to illegal immigrants like free health care and the pursuit of driver's licenses. The Department of Homeland Security is going to begin previewing or reviewing New York new laws in New York and New Jersey, which issue driving licenses to illegal immigrants, saying the department needs to be prepared to deal with and counter the impacts as uh, we protect the homeland. So, John, do you think offering illegal immigrants the privilege of getting a driver's license is good policy? I do, and I think it's clearly a decision for the states to make. Right? The issuance of driver licenses is clearly under the purview of state government, and the federal government does not have a say in it. The real issue here, however, is the fact that we need comprehensive immigration reform. We have 11 to 13 million undocumented residents in our country. Several years ago, we had a bipartisan, comprehensive immigration reform bill that had border security in it, that reformed our visa programs, and created a pathway to legal status for these 11 to 13 million individuals. They couldn't commit a crime, they had to learn English, they had to wait 13 years, and that would solve this problem. That's what we have to get back to. We have to get back at the table with comprehensive bipartisan immigration reform. But as it relates to driver's license, I think it's up to the states but, to decide. Clearly, that's, that's the responsibility of a state government. Gary, a license is not a right, it is a privilege. It's a privilege that some people say should not be offered to people who are here illegally. What do you think? Uh, just another government failure over the, uh, adding to the last 20 years of a lot of flapping of gums from our government on immigration to fix the immigration problem. Do you know the DMV is, is, is prohibited to providing data uh, on these people to government agencies right. if need be? It actually has to go to a judge, has to ask for it. You've got to be kidding me. Look, there's a word called illegal. There's a word called legal. Nobody has ever changed the laws, and I don't understand whatever happened to the laws. And I believe in states' rights and everything, but I also believe the number so, one job of the government is to protect the so, citizenry. Gary, I think, I think it's also a question of uh, guaranteeing our elections. And what's happened in California, there have been millions of people here illegally who have gotten driver's licenses, and it is a very short hop one form, one check box to also uh, be registered to vote. And so what, what's happened in California in the 2018 election, it appears that there was a significant number of people who did vote who were not in the country legally because they really didn't understand the form. And by the way, there has been almost no follow-up follow by California officials. I think that is a very worrisome thing, and we'll certainly see that er elsewhere if people allow illegals to have Look, uh, driver's it's, licenses. It's a little disingenuous, though, isn't it, to say, you know, we, we want people to come here legally, but then make it almost impossible for them to be here legally. I think John Delaney actually raises a, a real important point here. Look, there are people here illegally who are vibrant parts of American society. They work, they rent homes, they, they buy things. So let's take a, take a tip from Ronald Reagan and find some type of a, not a citizenship program, but a residence and amnesty but program. But Jonathan, Jonathan, what you say shows a... What you say shows, forgive me, but a dramatic ignorance of the situation of le legal Ill immigration into the United States. There are millions of people who, who dot every I and cross every T in order to be legal immigrants here. This kind of thing where you're giving privileges to illegal immigrants is an insult to those people who have worked so hard to become legal immigrants. And there are millions of them. I, but I, I, don't I, with, I don't disagree, David. I just don't know why we make it so difficult for people to come and immigrate here and participate in the American Jonathan, dream. Jonathan, they certainly would like Jonathan, to be legal if they could. The worst Jonathan, thing for an economy my point is to, to, for it to be shrinking. Twenty to twenty-five years of, of not doing anything on immigration except talk, talk, talk. By the way, from both sides of the aisle, right. which brought us to here. But that's not true. That is absolutely not true. In 2012, there was a bipartisan, comprehensive immigration reform bill that was passed in the U.S. Senate. 
significant Republican support. President Obama would have signed it into law. It did not get a vote in the House but of John, Representatives. But, John, it is true that, that in the first two years would of the Obama administration, when the Democrats had the House, the Senate, and the executive, they failed to do comprehensive Look, immigration it's a, it's, a, it's an issue that works for Democrats. End of discussion. They don't want to solve this problem because all the anger and so forth creates this incredible voting block, which is growing faster than any other voting block but, but, in the United Liz, States, I mean, Liz, which is Hispanic is the, voters. Is the, is the we answer, totally want to solve the problem. Is, you do not, the answer, because we, then people aren't, then maybe Hispanics won't have this Every as the Democrat issue. running I mean, so for president has pledged to support... Hold on, Jonathan, go ahead, John. Every Democrat running for president has pledged to support that bipartisan comprehensive yeah, immigration reform And so why didn't bill? it get done? Why because didn't John Boehner done? didn't put it for a vote right. on the floor. Right. We don't need to get into those weeds, but the bottom line is something has to be done. By the way, the president has a comprehensive program, too, yes, so maybe does. that'll happen in the next four years. Who knows?